what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the aew versus wwe war has officially begun uh by Polano productions now this is interesting title because i remember when aew became a thing nxt changed their time slot to align with aew so they were having the nxt versus aew war because the main roster uh vince and you know his team didn't really feel like aew was going to be competition fast forward a few years later still people don't feel like aew is real competition but i do think they are with the notable people that they have acquired on the roster and how they are booking their their wrestlers and the overall feel and product of the show seems to allude to aew actually being some type of competition granted view wise um uh wwe is still reigning supreme but uh i can see at some point potentially potentially for sure if aew keeps putting on good shows and and putting on great feuds i could see aew one day going toe-to-toe -to -toe with monday night raw because monday night raw is a horrible show to sit through well, I wouldn't say horrible. There's some things to, to like about it, but it's not that many, and it's too long of a show anyway. So, I don't know. We'll see where things go in the future, but uh, this is an interesting title. So, let's get right into this. See what's going on with the AEW versus WWE war. We have a lot to talk about because you really made a lot of headlines this week on Twitter. <clears throat> it all started with a tweet where you said, I saw you doing a half an hour head-to-head -head with us. I can't wait to finally beat your main show head-to-head. -head. It's been a long time coming. See you next Friday for AEW Rampage. Of course, talking about SmackDown is running over a half an hour. This made so many headlines <clears throat> all over. It's the second time that they've decided to go head-to-head -head with us, and I didn't... I want for the fans to be able to watch all the wrestling. I'll coin a phrase right now that I'll use from now on. W-Y-W, -W, watch your wrestling. I want people to watch your wrestling. Whatever you want to watch, watch it. And a lot of people have chosen to watch AEW because it's the best show. Watch your wrestling. And I want people to be able to watch everything. So it's the second time they've chosen to put their, their wrestling head-to-head -head with mine. And the last time they did it, it, over, it didn't happen overnight. But really from the start, AEW can consistently did better numbers than NXT. And we eventually mm -hmm. won that war and AEW is now the one. This is true. They were getting better numbers than NXT, but someone could counter and say, well, NXT is not their main shows. So, you know, but at the time, NXT was supposed to be the show that the hardcore wrestling fans in WWE were watching. And it was. If you wanted to get some good wrestling, you watched NXT. You know, you had decent wrestling to moderate decent wrestling on SmackDown to Raw. But if you really wanted to get your hardcore wrestling fix, you watched NXT at the time. And they, were, they weren't winning that war. They tried to, but they definitely was not winning the war against AEW. Wednesday Night Show, Wednesday Night Dynamite has had a great run and we'll be back on Wednesday in two weeks. But doing the show on Saturday this week, Friday, Saturdays, a big weekend for us. And now on Friday, they're doing a half hour head to head with Rampage, which is new. That's not something we've really allowed the shows to coexist. I put my show on, you know, consciously after SmackDown, knowing there's a huge audience of people that watch that show. And there's a lot of people that are going to watch Rampage, which has been uh, a hit for TNT. And we've had nights where we've been number one. We've been in uh, the top 10, top 20 consistently as a top show on cable. And it's like, uh, for me, I, I want Rampage to be just as big as Dynamite in time, but Dynamite's consistently been number one. So my goal is for the show to be the top cable show, and if they're going to do a show on cable, that's great. We're competing for that. But they're literally going to do a half-hour head-to-head with us. That's fine, okay? And we'll see what happens. I'm not saying for sure we'll win, and maybe the odds are against us in some ways, but we're going to do the better show, I know. And if you don't believe me, watch the whether go home show they did last night because it sucked <laughs> and uh, oh yeah yeah I'm, i am i am i did you watch it last I, night no i didn't I have didn't you honest, heard I it was did. bad yeah i did okay and like that's the prevailing oh wow man 
Tony Khan ain't playing no games. Oh, he's gone into complete savage mode. <clears throat> oh, and talking a lot of crap about the WWE as of late. Wow, I think I gotta be the one to say it. He started the real war between AEW and WWE. I say the real war because the Wednesday Night War was a joke, if we're being completely honest. AEW Dynamite obliterated NXT mm -hmm. on a weekly basis, and it wasn't even close. NXT did win a handful of the weeks, and even then, it wasn't anything too special. AEW really destroyed NXT so badly that Vince McMahon had to fire Triple H from his position and rebrand the show. They clearly did not have a fighting chance. Yeah. The fans tried to make it seem like it was a much bigger deal than it no, was, it but that's what it was. It was just whatever. Things are different now, though. It seems like it's finally AEW versus WWE this time around. It all started when WWE announced that they would be having a supersized SmackDown on mm -hmm. FS1, which took place last <clears throat> night. This was a very odd move because the WWE added 30 minutes to SmackDown, and that is something that hasn't been done before. What's even more bizarre is that Vince McMahon made the last 30 minutes commercial free. This meant that the WWE was in direct competition with AEW, and they made sure to not include any commercial breaks. That decision. I want y'all to understand, to make a 30-minute show commercial-free, that means you're paying the network millions because they run those commercials to get paid. The network run those commercials so they can get paid. You're paying the network millions to no commercials. We'll pay you. That's a lot of money. Decision pissed Tony Khan off so much. He was never one to ever get into the beef and ever talk bad about the WWE. And I can understand why it made him upset because it's the simple fact you purposely did that to overlap our show when you've never done that before. You purposely did that. And we've been on some, if you watch them, watch them. If you watch us, watch us. They literally would start the show after SmackDown. If anything, they could take a loss there financially because it's like, say someone's like, hey, I've already watched like two hours of wrestling. I don't know if I want to watch another two hours or another hour and a half of wrestling. I don't think I'm going to chill. So they could literally take an L in that situation, but they just, you know, worked with what they had. They decided to do it that way. And then Vince was like, nah, we're going to go 30 minutes over to overlap. Like, yo, that's... I can see why Tony Khan is like, okay, that's how we played it, bet. The way he does now. Tony Khan never went out of his way mm -mm. to really talk shit about WWE. However, this was obviously way too much for him to handle, and he is obviously furious. Khan has gone out of his way to say that Raw even sucked. He said that AEW would be much better than SmackDown this week as well, and Tony... Well, Raw does suck. It's, it's not that good. Uh, not even by a long shot. There's some good things on there and maybe the brand uh, the draft will definitely help with different characters being on the show and intriguing more in more intriguing storylines fresh matchups but outside of that no raw is never well it used to be the a show it's not the a show no more it's the b show i haven't even watched nxt so i can't even say that but at one point it wasn't even the b show it was the c show because nxt was better than fucking raw i don't know how nxt is now so comment down below let me know if you guys have been watching the nxt 2.0 have you been enjoying it so even had a special rampage buy-in that featured a dream match between brian danielson and Minoru suzuki i actually did watch that that was hard hitting intense i watched it off camera you know how aew is pretty strict with reacting to stuff on youtube um i think it's their network from what you guys were telling me but did watch it fantastic match brutal these guys are stiff as hell in the ring enjoyed it the war has only been getting more and more intense in the past few days <clears throat> tony got noticed that the wwe won commercial free for the last 30 minutes of smackdown and so he did the same thing for rampage wow the first 30 minutes of that show was commercial free as well Tony Khan even took a shot at them by saying that he had more money than them and he can do the same thing that they did. Jesus, bro. We're talking about billionaires just literally throwing money at the networks. And you know what? These networks, all right, if you got the money here, hey, hey, do what you do. It was hilarious, and I'm glad that he's not backing down. I can respect Tom Dalla also dropped a diss track on the Young Bucks, and Roman Reigns also came into the mix defending World Wrestling Entertainment. First and foremost, he took a shot at CM Punk. 
During an oh. interview with Complex, they asked Reigns if he would be interested in wrestling CM Punk, and he responded with, I wouldn't say no, but I mean on a personal level, it doesn't do anything for me. That is not going to elevate me at all. He's older now, and I haven't even seen a full match. I've seen a clip or two, and to me, a step or two has been lost. Then he also got his ass whooped in the UFC. Oh! Roman Reigns would continue and say, Oh, Roman is really went rogue. <clears throat> oh my god, bro. The disrespect. Oh. Roman. Hey, I don't think anybody really believes that someone 200 pounds soaking wet with no explosive bone in their body could ever really do anything to me. I'm 6'3", 265 pounds, a legitimate athlete who can throw some weight around and has been on the gridiron at the highest level. D1, all ACC, and I probably would have maintained NFL if my health issues did not happen when I was 22 years old. So I mean, when it comes down to it, I'll throw him and pretty much the rest of the roster out the club, no problem. They're just like little brothers, you know? Oh my, yo, he is with Mega Rogue. You want to know something? This is Roman. This is something that he would say on television. But this is actually him addressing this. What we're seeing on television is an extension of actually how Roman feels, bro. All you have to do is just be yourself. Be an extension of yourself and you make great television. This seems like what Roman would say on television in his character. But he's actually addressing it in an interview. Bro, that's wild. Now, granted, he could be hemming it up. Uh, you know, people wrestlers do do these type of things to hem it up on interviews and stuff but i do believe he believes every single word he's saying here he i mean dead ass i do believe that as you can see things are really starting to pick up for the first time wow this is why i believe that the war has actually started there is no way that roman reigns would say all of that if the wwe pr team did not want him to Facts. i have a feeling that the wwe might actually be concerned with AEW since their ratings are much higher now compared to before this is and true they've even beating raw in the demo at one point yep in a specific demo they are beating raw i'm not sure what it is i believe it's 18 to 34 i could be wrong i'm sure you guys will correct me but in a specific demo that wwe would want to win in they're not beating them because a lot of people are checking out AEW because they like wrestling. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's also a report stating that the WWE is purposely leaking the fast national ratings for AEW Rampage, which is always lower than the actual numbers. The rumor is that this was done to make fans have the perception that the show is on the decline and is continuing to drop in viewers. I'm not entirely sure how hmm. true that report is, but it seems more plausible as of late since the WWE has been effectively trying to go into this war with Tony Khan and his company. But something about this entire situation is fishy to me. It seems very strange that the WWE would start beefing out of the blue. Don't get me wrong, they've taken some shots at AEW in the they past, have. but many of those were very subtle. These recent shots seem to be more harmful and obvious. The WWE is not trying to hide it. They're being very abrupt, and Tony Khan has never been this kind of person to take these direct shots at WWE literally calling their show trash. Yeah. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something suspicious about all of it, and I just, I don't know, I don't know what it is. The only other time Tony Khan acted like this was when he mentioned Nick Khan, and Tony Khan even revealed that he informed Nick that he was gonna do that before it even happened, and Nick gave him the green light as well. I have a weird feeling that the WWE and AEW might be working together. They That's probably have an agreement to make it seem like a war is actually taking place right now to get fans excited. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're the ones leaking out all these reports, and that is why Tony Khan has been so aggressive. That is why Roman Reigns has been taking his shots and even top down. And that that is the thing. Companies do this. They'll pretend to have beef. Fans eat it up. Everyone ultimately wins because people are going to check out WWE. Then more people are probably going to even check out AEW or check out both shows so they can compare on their own. So it is a smart business move. Dollar created a mixtape. If I had to guess, this is all a plan to add some more buzz to the wrestling community. But yeah. you never know. That is just a theory that I might get into in another video. 
And if it's not, it then this is actually wild to see. The wrestling community truly needed this war to start. At the end of the day, I do not care if this is a legit or not. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving the back and forth moments between AEW and WWE. It is fun for the fans and last night proved that both shows can be good since they are trying to outperform each other. That's Smackdown good. Smackdown was great. Rampage was also great. And in the end, the wrestling fans are winning and that is all that matters. Yeah. I don't know why there's people complaining about this because honestly, I want to see more of it. It's the best when you're not on either side and you just watch WWE, AEW, and the mm -hmm. fans of each program get into arguments. That is the most effective way to watch all this go down. Anyways, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. I like if this. you did, the fact that I took time to make sure I checked out the Brian Danielson match. Uh, a clip of it after I did my reaction for Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar shows you that that is a good sign. I don't, I, I have no stock in either company. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I just want good wrestling from both companies because we all win as a wrestling community. And I think people need to understand that. It doesn't matter who you like to watch. As long as you like wrestling and someone's entertaining you and putting on some good wrestling shows, enjoy it. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys believe that this AEW-WWE war is actually legitimate now? Or do you guys think it's just a good business plan by both companies to generate hype between each other? Comment down below. Let me know. I'd like your thoughts and opinions on that. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel. We're almost at six, uh, 60,000 subs, man. We're almost there. Appreciate that. I uh, love you guys so much for it. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.